Hello, one of my most frequently asked questions is, how do I bind my chest? Well, there are lots of ways to bind a chest, but one of the ones I use most frequently is kinesiology tape. I use tape to bind my chest when I need to do an open shirt performance or some sort of naked torso look. Otherwise, I don't bother because it's not the best for my skin. I tend to cut my strips ahead of the game, which is useful for me. I cut them in pairs, so matching pairs for each side, and then uh, they get longer and longer as I go on. So we start with shorter strips and then longer strips, always in pairs, like this. I cut them from the roll, and then I place them ahead of me so that I can find them. And we're ready to start. So my first strip has got a little bit of tension on it, but not masses. I don't want to pull too hard over the sensitive areas in the middle. However, I do want to make a little bit of a start of pulling myself slightly down and slightly out. That's the most comfortable position for me. Not lots, just a bit. Build the pressure as we go along. The next strip sits beneath the first. I have to make sure that this outside edge here reaches the skin, and the same for this side. I'm going to place it underneath, I'm going for this bit here, I'm going to place it and I'm going to hold it still, even though it's nicely stuck. I give it a little pull, but not masses, and then pull it down and round like that, and we do the same for the other side. Try to make sure all your edges are stuck down, a little bit of tension, down and round. Not masses, we've made a start. The next two, slightly easier, covering the top part. I'm going to go up here. I like to put a bit of an angle on this, it helps to prevent uh, the fold in the top corner. Again, making sure that the outside edges are on the skin, not on the tape, because they won't stick. Not too close to the armpit, that's quite sensitive, especially when you're taking it off. A little bit of tension, but not loads. Same the other side. Right. The next strips have a lot more tension in them. They're quite a bit longer. I'm going for the middle. The meat of the tit. Starting further in making sure there's lots of coverage on the skin. I don't want this bit to have tension. So when I stick this bit down, this square bit here, I don't want this to be pulling. So I make it stuck all the way up until it gets to the tape. Then I pull it and I make this bit tight over the tape. And then when it's all the way around, I relax it and stick the last bit onto the skin. It's got to be on the skin, otherwise it won't stick. Same for the other side. Make sure this bit stuck onto the skin is not taut. Then you pull it taut. And then when it's all the way around, you relax it, and stick the loose bit onto the skin. This will hold its tension because it's on the tape. And we do the lower part. Again, making sure that this outside edge is stuck to the skin and not the tape covering as much area as possible, giving some good grip there. Then when it's past that section, it's onto the tape, you pull. For this bit, I like to lift it slightly. It sort of helps not, not have bulges around the bottom because it's quite taut. Pull that nice and tight all the way around the back. Stick it down here. Make sure it's absolutely flat, no folds and creases. So you go side. Sure this bit stuck to the skin, not taut, then taut, lifting up slightly and then allowing it to be loose as you stick it to the skin. That way none of the tape that's actually on your skin is pulled taut itself. It's the bit over the tape that is pulled taut that gives you that pull, that tension and flatness. So what I've got now is a really rather flat chest. That's not fair. 
So this is one way of binding, and I will stress again, you shouldn't really do this every day. It's not good for your skin. If you want to bind every day, there are other safer options, and we'll look into those later in the series. But now for the almighty question, how the hell do you get it off? Well, let's have a go. Right then, let's get it off. Now K-Tape can be pretty sticky stuff and will, if given half the chance, take your skin with it. So I've learned a little trick or two to get it off without too much damage being done. It involves a bottle of baby oil and a whole bunch of face wipes. Right, let's get stuck in. Right then, first off, you need to be super generous with the baby oil. Now I know lots of people use coconut oil to get this kind of stuff off and it does break down the glue but I don't think it does quite as good a job as this stuff because it's way more liquid. Now the trick is just to go absolutely nuts on it. Pour it all over just like this. You want it to soak right the way through the tape. You want it to literally be sodden with baby oil. Right then, I'm nice and soggy. Next bit, wait. skin it is durable lasts when you're sweating when you're on stage when you're moving a lot you can totally move completely in any direction you like however don't wear it if you're already moisturized your skin because it won't stick it does still stay on through sweat it is designed to support muscles during sport but any sort of like oily residue on your skin will just mean that it will peel straight off Right then, so I've been waiting about 20 minutes and if you take a nice close up look, you can see that the edges, just down here, are very much just beginning to peel off. That's what you're looking for, that's what you want. But I still think we need a bit more time, so I'm just gonna pop the kettle on, I'll be right back. But genuinely, you need to wait a good half hour because what will begin to happen is this. It will start to peel on its own. I'd like to add, under no circumstances, try to rip this off like a band-aid or a plaster because it will hurt like hell and take half your skin with it. All you want is this, peely peely, coming off on its own, very gently, very gently. You shouldn't hurt too much, it will a bit. You will still possibly get some little marks and ridges where your skin has been pulled. It's okay you can leave oily tape all over the floor. It should just begin to come off. You want to be very careful with it and peel very gently. Sugar nuts. The most difficult thing to cope with in that, under these circumstances is that when you come home from a gig, sometimes you're quite hyper, sometimes you've had a couple of drinks, sometimes you're very tired, and then you have to spend at least half an hour, 45 minutes, faffing about with your tape. And that can be exhausting. So try to organise your time to give yourself enough to look after your skin, because it is really important. I'm just going to carry on peeling this for a bit, ever so gently, from the edges. this on just a little bit longer also can't take this off because woohoo reveal <laughs> but um, I'm gonna take this off in just a few minutes and clean myself up with some face wipes you do need them to hand because they will just run all down you and all over your clothes make sure you're not wearing anything on your lower half that you don't want to get baby oil on a suit is not the best thing to get baby oil on you tend to have to send it to a dry cleaners to have that taken out 
uh, pair of joggers, pair of pyjamas, something like that. Stand in the shower, stand in a bath, do one of those things. It will go everywhere. Just look after yourself. Right then, I'm not allowed to show you my nipples for ridiculous reasons. However, you can now see the kind of damage that was done to my skin just from wearing it that very short space of time and then taking it straight off very carefully. My skin's quite red, but there's no bubbling, there's no blistering, and there's no lost skin. But you can see, if I turn around here, some examples of scarring just on my back here and also on the other side where I've taken it off rashly very late at night so you do need to be careful and I highly recommend that we now treat the skin with some pseudocum so that's what I'm going to do now okay so this is what I'm going to use here it's good for the skin healing everyone has different kinds of skin though so do find a product that works for you this one works for me I'm going to put it on, I'm going to put it on nice and thick, it's going to go underneath the jammer. I'm going to put it everywhere I have tape, as thick as I can cope it. Need a bit more. Maybe I'll see you on the other side. Right then, I'm just about ready for bed. I've got my pseudocreme on, I've got my jammers on. Oh. I've been animal, you've been fucking answered. Take care of your skin, people. <laughs> <laughs>